Welcome back, Commanders. My name's The Craven. This is some more Europa Universalis 4, playing as Sparta. And, uh, yeah, we're still playing in Eldorado. Um, have been raiding a lot of the, uh, uh... What are they called again? Damn it. The Dev Diaries the last few weeks, and... Oh boy, are there gonna be some changes to this game coming up soon. Yeah, the fort system sounds very interesting and will just change the face of warfare. But to be fair, um... The way it's done now with all the carpet sieging is kind of not how it actually went anyway so that that's gonna add some realism for sure um let's see these guys are attacking can i move through kataya to get to them actually no there's they don't have movement through them either ah good we actually have some claims finishing up I mean, I know I am allied to Moldavia, actually, aren't I? No, I'm together in the war, and that's why I'm getting vision of the area. So what are we actually in war with? At war with Erzincan, Tarki, and Azaraba. I need movement through Kutaya, which I'm really not going to get. I actually am going to get it. Okay, then. In that case, let's get these guys to Kocheli and... Start marching her ass through their territory, through Kithaya. Can I build more armories that are really good? 23 is the best we can get. Do they still have autonomy here? Oh yeah, that's that's why. It does have lower volt risk though, so that's a good thing. Um, let's move to Sinop. Good start. Yeah, I think the war has already been won. I mean, look the numbers. There, three thousand troops are what's left of their territory now. So let's um split off three of these and get them start sieging there. And there we go. Zero overextension once again. Now that we've cored everything. There's, of course, still unrest. Only in B. There's no unrest here. Oh, because we increased our autonomy. That's true. I did do that for a good reason, actually. Um, trade map mode. I would like some more power in the Constantinople zone. More, more percentage of the money that is flowing in here would be very useful. Anyway, we will want to go to war with Kutaya at some point. In the very, very near future. Be they are allied with Alkuts and Antakia. Burgess has announced this as a rival. Oh my. Anyway, I'm going to call these guys back. If I'm going to go to war with them, it's going to be pretty easy. So let's get one more claim going, at least. Actions Fabric a claim. Castamonu. Yeah. Getting closer to the... The entire coastline would be very useful to get. We have our leader. I want to have some funds in the bank before I do this. I'm actually very likely going to pick up um, religious ideas next. Because I want to be able to convert some more. Foreign plots. Lose 10 Republican traditions for money or lose a stability. Yeah, stability it is. Republican tradition is really difficult to keep. Okay. Hello! You're attacking me now. Zagreb is no longer a valid rival for Sparta. Um, and we cannot add a rival because we are at war. Well, that's annoying. There goes my siege. Why don't you guys retreat so we at least have some people left over. And now I'm coming for them. This will hurt. Bari has been discovered fabricating a claim on us. Bari, are you really doing this now? You can come back now. Actually, he would have Indigar. Oh, Bari is actually going to go full on Italy mode, aren't they? Yeah. 
I think it's about time to declare this war. Let's just uh, cancel military access as soon as we're back home. When I can do this. And he's back from Kutaya. Isel. Oh yeah, we are also at war with Isel. We are at war with Isel. Hang on a minute. Um, in that case, I do need to split off a small contingent force. Yes, please transfer them there by ship. That one, I actually have a claim on, so I will want it. And even though we're about to go to war, I would like some diplomatic tech to actually catch up on the other tech groups as well. It's the whole reason I picked an administrative leader as well. Also, offensive ideas can be extended with the Grand Army. And that also gives us uh, Greek city-states, provincial trade power modifier plus 10%. While the Greek cities share culture and religion, each city has always had its own army, political structure, and the loyalty of its citizens. This has allowed trade to flourish in the Greek territories. Ten a month income now from our money. Okay, um, we only have four cogs. In that case, I'm going to get another cog. Um, yeah, ooh. I'm going to spend the diplo power in that case. You. What would be the most money? Um, not Constantinople. I think Alexandria, we, because we don't have ships here. This is going for 1.33 right now. 1.60. It's not much. Our great man has died. Um, yeah, I just want the plus one, basically. Really, he was... He is... Oh, no, he's only plus two as well. Thought he was a plus three. Um, yes, yeah, so we're about to go to war with Kutaya. Al Kut and Antakia. Ooh, they. Not sure if they are allowed to move through territory. Then again, there is, of course, some peasants going on here. Which is problematic for them. Anyway, let's declare the war. What do we want? We want Saruhan. When Bolu, we want first and foremost. Though we want Tik, I think. Actually, no. Let's just take Bolu. Here we're gonna move in instantly, and of course we get that. We sunk one of their trade ships. We instantly destroyed their army. Also, let's skip um, some units off here. I'm going to go to Bolu. And I want another group going for Saruhan. To start sieging. And, oh, yeah, no, we did kill them. That's fine. Uh, actually, I want you back in Huda Vendigar. So I want to be safe about this. And not lose too much manpower. Oh, our royal marriage with Maros ended. Training fields. They are pretty decent. Also decently expensive. Let's get an armory in Corfu at least. I mean, we can afford at least one more building. So building a building when you can afford two is pretty decent. Uh, there we go. Isel has been sieged. That forces them out. Let's get a tick. What is my war goal again here? Bolu, yes. And you guys, let's get moving to Castamonu. Crush the army while it's still trying to build up. Pretty good. Anyway, we do have nine, 29, seven more. Room for seven more units. Also, we don't have enough income to support too many more ca um, artillery. So I'm gonna use one of those and two here, just making sure we don't lose, we don't force too much manpower or uh, what's the other one? Money here right now. Siege of Saruhan is over, let's go to Hamid. 
And let's do the move through. Battle of Bazook. 25th of May, so we need to wait until the 24th. And then they just decide to run away anyway. Oh, you're turning back now. That's probably a bad idea. Because now I can kill another 3,000 of your troops. Oh, hello, Moldavia. Fun, f fun, fancy meeting you here. Yeah, Turkey is slowly becoming ours. These, of course, we're in the building menu. These three are gonna join up here. Let's get admin. Not yet. Get admin tech. Two more sieges. Let's go to their capital. Actually, let them go to their capital. And there's Bolu. A leaderless army. We still destroy him. But yeah, not yet getting the admin tech will allow us to actually core our stuff as well. We're about to take. Let's get another armory going. Monastir 21. Uh, Modena, Bari, Zagreb, Crane, Trusus have ended. You know what? I'm going to start claiming some land of Bari. Let's start with Salento. But we're going to need more ships in the near future, though. I, uh, you mean, I helped them in the war. I hope they're going to give me a sell. I'm not going to be worried if they don't give it to me. But it is. It has my claim, and I am helping them out. And the AI sometimes rewards that. Let's do a short sortie to take care of that army there. They're actually going to run away. Nope, they cannot get away. We didn't even lose anything. It was an insta wipe. Just crushed it. Oh, that's. Right. Theodoro has. Uh, okay, they will cede one, two, three, four provinces to Theodoro. It's not nothing. So we didn't get a cell. So I want to split you in half, and the other half is going to trade in Aleppo. Maybe that will change the money game a little bit more. It's about even, actually. On the Siege of Kataya. Let's go to Ankara. Prince's reputation has been tarnished. Lose 100 diplomatic power, or lose the equivalent of 112 admin power. Right now, the diplomatic is more expensive, so I'm gonna execute someone for this. And I'm gonna boost stability back up to zero. Religious unity is too low, though. We are gonna need a lot more. Are you gonna go to Sinop? Sengar no longer considers Leonet as a rival. And they've announced Moldavia as a rival. Well, soon enough. Oh, um, something. Highlands disappeared. Yeah, Highlands has been taken over. What is... Orkney is its own country. Nice. Shetland is... Mm, is not Yiland. Faroana is Connaught. Not Yiland. That's... Danish. That's not the same. Wow. Some of them have been uh, screwed over a little bit. Let's just say that. With uh, losing territory left and right. There we go. That's 73 lost. With Oh, wow. Full Elan. That's going to give me some morale. Military. Um, land morale 4.12 right now. Well, we do get the 10% for being a noble republic as well. So that's useful. Revolt risk is Biga and Huere Vendigar. Ah, that's right. And we've only been gaining manpower over all this time. Castle has become a vassal. We've gotten our claim on Bari. 
Let's get another claim on Bari. Oh, wow. Um, Salenta would actually be right on their uh, capital as well. Probably not great. Let's see, what can I get in the peace deal? They will give me Tick, they will give me Bolu. They're really cheap. Ankara's cheap. Hamid is cheap. Kastamonu is cheap. They're all really cheap. And not a lot of aggressive expansion as well because we have so many claims. As it's quite nice. And in that case, I'm going to leave these two and get these four. Because I still want to... Well, they're probably just one province. Uh, Jesus. One base tax province is actually... Um, you go away. Now, actually, you know what? How much... They all have one base tax. Yes, they do. What does Sinop have? Two. So it's a little bit more expensive, but I'm, I'm going to take Sinop as well. So I'm going to get all their coastline, and then the next time I can actually... Uh, force them to be vassals and then I'm gonna force convert them as well okay we need a guy with plus one Ozok let's pull you back now this also means that it's gonna be cheap to actually um, convert it all over core it all We could actually reduce Bigas Revolt Risk below zero, so I'm gonna send my army there instead. Uh, uh, rebels are here, that's fine. I'm gonna take the entire coastline and these three as well. I'm gonna be fun with rebels for a while though. Said sarcastically. There we go, we have a full siege of their country going. And this means I can take all of this. And when we suffer 10.9 aggressive expansion. Wow. Ankara is also cheap. Bozok is a little bit more. Some ducats as well. And... It's no diplo power to get them to annul the treaties. Or give us war reparations. There we go. That's a big increase. So now we get Tech. We get Hamid. We get Saruhan. We get Bolu, Castamonu, and Sinop. Sinop is actually orthodox, which means I can decrease autonomy. Crap. I needed to increase autonomy. Anyway. The others have more than 20% unrest. Tolerant, intolerance, nationalism, war exhaustion, overextension. It's all not helping. It's a lot of nationalism over here. That can definitely go now. So, wow, we're getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Also, my force limit should now be hmm, it's still 29. Um, what do we have? Oh, election. Hmm. Keep him for 20 diplo Republican tradition and gain some points. Or finally, s or switch back to our military candidates. Um, you know what, I'm gonna, I want to keep him. There we go. Now we get one more point in each category and we got 50 points. I think, uh, if I'm gonna guess it was diplomatic that we got them in. Because I didn't see it. Anyway, um, income, 6.62. One more cannon and three more infantry. Our infantry is going to be really strong regardless because of our infantry combat mo modifiers that we'll have over in due time. Also, these really Constantinople nationalists now. In Sinop, okay. Also, their vegan nationalists are not going to rise up at all. And these guys will rise up at some point, the Turkish patriots. I need a new rival. Overextension, yeah, it'll be gone soon. I need a new rival. Bern, Karga, or Moldavia. Um, 
yeah, I, I'd like to keep the mercantilism. Baron over here, Moldavia or Karga. Yeah, Karga is a good plan. It's on top of Burgas and Bari that we already have. Let's actually get some more claims here. Um, Sophia needs to be claimed for sure. Trebizond offers us an alliance. It's this little one over here. You're orthodox. Yes, I'm going to accept the alliance. I'm going to... Royal Mary and improve relations. Because they will accept vassalization. Perfect. So I just need to get my relationship up. And we actually get a free uh, guy here. Free person to get. And they have claims around them. They have one claim around them. But that's fine. We can invest in Esprit de Corps, which means I have finished my offensive ideas. Our first idea group is done. We get our admin tech as well. We can now build temples. It's going very good and very well. Anyway, it is about time to end the episode. So let's at least start the uh, improved relation here. What is my mission? Rival Revivalist Gurius, so they should be a friend. Ooh, right. Um, cancel that. Improve relation here. That's what I completely forgot. I always forget my missions. That's what happens every time. Yep, supply limits are fine. Army force limit went up, then I want another cannon. And I want to thank you all for watching. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date in the future. We'll have some rebels next time, but we're also going to have some war next time. Again. I will uh, see you guys later.